Hey, what's up, Airsofters? It's Kaduka from SRT doing a quick video review of the VFC Smith & Wesson M&P 9C. So as you can see, it comes in a pretty nice box. It says Smith & Wesson with traits, and it also says M&P 9 9C series on it. So when you open the box, you'll get an instruction packet with warnings. This instruction packet will tell you how to load the BBs, how to install the sights, uh, how to load the green gas, how to remove the slide. It also shows you a pretty cool thing, which is the kind of hidden semi and auto feature of this gun. This gun will actually come with three back straps, one installed on the gun itself and two additional back straps. Now these back straps are uh, pretty useful uh, if, depending on the size of your hands you can adjust them small, medium, large and it also comes with one magazine. So right off the bat I'd like to say that this gun looks pretty realistic on the top here this is my actual real steel M&P 45 and then below is the M&P 9C, the airsoft version. You know, these things look pretty dang close. If you look at the trades, I mean, this thing looks pretty, pretty on point. It would be definitely hard for me to tell what's real and what's not, uh, which brings to mind, you know, please be careful when you're out there. Do not bring these guns out in public. Um, it, probably not a good idea. So now I'm just going to do a simple teardown of this gun the same way you would actually do it if you were looking to adjust the hop up or do some general cleaning. So just like every other airsoft pistol that's out there, you have your slide catch, which basically when you're down to your last round and uh, it, it locks back the slide, slide, slide release, slide lock, whatever you want to call it. Um, in addition to that, just like the real steel gun, so here's a real steel gun, just like the real steel you have the actual um, slide lock, I guess, which is release the actual upper slide from the from the gun itself, uh, and so from the lower, actually. So if I just slide this back, you'll notice that there's a little notch in there that allows this thing to pivot downward. So once you pivot that downward and you holding the top, if you make sure you hold the top here, otherwise it'll fly forward, and then you unlock the slide, the slide release, you can guide it forward and now you have your upper assembly here, your slide assembly. So inside there, just like every other typical airsoft gun, you have your spring guide and then you have access to your hop up here. And this is your barrel assembly. You can come out here and you can actually clean it or whatever you want to do. There is an engraving on the hop up that will show you which way to hop the BB up and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of nice that you know which direction to go. And so to assemble it back, just slide that uh, barrel assembly back in, put your spring guide in, and you make sure there's a, there's a little notch here. Make sure that's nice and flush there. Now, the biggest gripe I have about this gun is the actual, that lock there that I was talking to you about earlier. Um, it's great that it's real, just or it's like just like the real steel. However, this thing typically is finicky and um, doesn't always just lock right away. So sometimes you have to wiggle it a little or or play with the slide just to get it to, to sit right and, and pivot backwards. So um, so just to reinstall, just slide the, there's little rails here, you slide the upper onto the lower, bring it back, lock it in place, and here's that fun part I was telling about. So, so there it is. So I guess just wiggling the upper barrel a little, barrel assembly up and down a little, that will swivel that downward, allow that to swivel downward. So then once you're done, Pull back on the slide, and there you go, ready to rock and roll. So as I mentioned earlier, this gun does come with a couple different back straps. And what the back strap is going to do is it's going to allow you to adjust the gun to the palm of your hand so it fits nicely and snug into your hand. And so basically, to be able to change this out, now I have the one with the dovetail, which I like. It just, you know, it fits nice and snug in there. In order to change this out, you're just going to turn this thing a little fastener deal that holds it in about I think it's like a quarter turn and then just you know it's new so it's kind of hard to get in and out so just wiggle this around and then pull it out and you'll see there's a little notch there that locks that in place so once you do that now the back strap can be removed it basically pivots it locks in here and it pivots that way so if you just lift up like that you'll notice that there's that little lock I was talking about that, bring, that locks it into the gun here and you can just simply take the other back strap and any other ones, slide that little tab in there, push it down, 
and now it should uh, sit right nice and snug and then all you do is you reinstall the little key here and it locks in place and there you go pretty straightforward as you can see this gun shoots about 275 fps i am chronoing with 0.20 gram bbs and using propane in this gun